In this video, I'm going to introduce the topic of separable differential equations. And this is part of the IB Math AI HL course. And this is a subtopic uh, of the topic five calculus topic of differential equations. So you may have watched a previous video where I introduced what a differential equation was. A differential equation is quite different to a just a standard algebraic equation where we can solve for a number as the solution. For a differential equation, the solution uh, is a function or a group of functions. So in that introductory video, I did give you a differential equation. It was this one here, dy dx is equal to two times x times y. And I introduced that the solution to this is some function of y that satisfies this equation, where the derivative of y with respect to x is in fact equal to two times x times that function of y. Now in the introduction video, I did just give you the answer, but I'm actually going to show you how to solve this differential equation here uh, using the method here of separable differential equations. Okay, so this is a separable differential equation uh, because it's in a certain form. The form that we need our differential equation to be in, to be order to be sold, solved as a separable differential equation, is we want dy dx to be equal to, and it's some function of x multiplied by some function of y. So I'm just going to use f and g as my functions. If we can express dy dx equaling something with x's multiplied by something with y's, we should be able to use this method here to solve for our differential equation. And that's what we have right here. We have dy dx equaling two times x times y. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to solve this. Uh, using separable differential equations. The main idea here is to use this keyword, separable. We want to separate, we want to separate the variables. And what we essentially want to do is try and put everything with Y on the left-hand side and everything with X on the right-hand side. So how do I do that? Well, I can take this Y underneath the DY. And on the left-hand side, I'll have DY over Y. And on the right hand side, I'll have 2x dx. And now I have everything with y on one side, everything with x on the other side. And notice we could only do that if these were being multiplied here, which was our, which was our form uh, that is uh, a separable differential equation. But once we have it in this form here, I'm going to take the integral of both sides. And on the left hand side, I will have the integral of one on y with respect to y. And on the right hand side, I'm going to have the integral of 2x with respect to x. And once we, once we have this, we can actually integrate both sides. Well, the integral of one on y with respect to y is the natural log of y. And on the right hand side, the integral of 2x is just 2x squared over two. So it's just x squared. Now, when we have a separable differential equation like this here, on the right hand side, let's put our plus C. Now, if you actually want to put the plus C on both sides and then subtract one from the other, we could do that. But with these types of questions, we can just treat the constant on the right hand side as the result of the two constants. And that's very standard in textbooks and you can do this in your exam. So with your right hand side, where you have your X's, let's put our plus C constant. Now, if we want to try and rearrange and solve for Y here, well, if we know that log base E of Y equals this, well, we know that Y, just using our powers of our logarithms and, and, and how to rearrange equations like this, Y will equal E to the power of X squared plus C. Now, what we can also do there is use our indice laws. We know that Y is equal to E to the power of X squared multiplied by E to the power of C. I know if I have the same base, I can add the powers, but I'm going to do the opposite. And the reason why I've done that is because I know that e to the power of c, that's just some constant. So what I'm going to do is say y is equal to a times e to the power of x squared. I'm just going to let this be some constant a. 
And if you remember from the previous video where I introduced a differential equation by using this one up here, we said that there was lots of solutions to this differential equation. We had e to the power of x squared, we had 5e e to the power of x squared. It was any constant multiplied by e to the power of x squared. And hopefully now we can see that we can actually, we could have found that answer using this method here of separable differential equations. Okay, I'm going to give you one more example. So let me write up this example now. Okay, so I've given you a second example. What we want to do here is solve this differential equation where dy dx is equal to 2x over 3y squared. Given that, and they've given us an initial condition. Maybe you remember from the previous video, what we can do is we can use this initial condition to actually find the particular solution to our differential equation, where down here, this was a general solution because we didn't know what the constant A was. Okay, so what we can hopefully recognize is that this is a separable differential equation because I can write it as dy dx. This is equal to 2x multiplied by 1 over 3y squared. Now, you don't need to put this step in your working out, but I have just showed you that uh, this is some function of x multiplied by some function of y. So I'm going to put everything with y on the left-hand side, everything with x on the right-hand side. So I'm just going to go back to this up here. I'm going to multiply the 3y squared up onto the left-hand side, and I'll have 3y squared dy, and on the right-hand side, I'll have 2x dx. Now, once I have uh, my equation in this form, I'm going to integrate both sides. I'm going to take the integral of both sides. Now, the integral of 3y squared dy, this is just 3y to the power of 3 over 3, which is just y cubed. And this will equal 2x to the power of 2 over 2, just using my basic integration rules. So this will just be x squared. And on the right-hand side, with our once we integrate the x, we put our plus c, as we did in the previous example. And what we can do here is rearrange to try and get y by itself. And we can simply say, well, y is equal to the cubed root of x squared plus c. So this here, this would be our general solution, our general solution to our differential equation, but they gave us an initial condition. So what we can do is find the particular solution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in what we know that when x is 1, we know y is 2. So I'm going to substitute that in actually at this step here, as it might be a little bit easier to solve for c. Well, we know that y is 2 when x is 1. That was given here. The y value when x is 1 is 2. So let's substitute in 2 for y. So we would have here 2 cubed will equal 1 squared plus c. Therefore, 8 equals 1 plus c. And therefore, we can see that c would be equal to 7. We know that c will be equal to 7. So what we can therefore say is that y is equal to the cubed root of x squared plus 7. And this here would be our particular, our particular solution. Excuse my messy hand right in there. Okay, so I've shown you uh, two examples here and how we can find a a general and a particular solution to a separable differential equation. And once again, as a summary, we can use this technique if our, uh, if our differential equation is in the form of dy dx is equal to some function of x multiplied by some function of y. Okay, so that, that is the basic summary for this topic.